the red desolation. Dreams used to come to me like old friends, whispering sweet lies in the twilight of my mind. But with a single breath, they disappear, leaving nothing but the wreckage of thoughts and shattered pieces in my head. What's left are fragments, echoes of once vibrant hopes, now bleeding out like a rose crushed underfoot, sinking into the muck. In the distance, ancient oaks stand as silent witnesses to my misery, their towering forms barely visible through the fog of despair. The swamp's filth seeps into my veins, an insidious invader that drains my strength and erodes my convictions. It feeds on my faith, just as the marsh devours everything it touches. Occasionally, faces emerge from the murk, distorted and grotesque, mere shadows of humanity, limbs twisted and deformed, flailing in their endless torment. Everything in this desolate wasteland has become part of the mire, all of it pulling me deeper into its suffocating embrace. Insanity coils in my brain like a venomous snake, whispering its toxic lies. I take a step, then another, each one promising solid ground, yet finding only more quagmire beneath my feet. Madness becomes something real, a presence I can almost touch. Sometimes a mouth appears in the rotting soil, a gaping maw that screams with unearthly agony. It pulls me closer, its foul breath like a siren song. Questions swarm in my mind, relentless and unyielding, each thought a claw trying to drag me under. This place hungers, an insatiable beast seeking to devour the very essence of who I am, to steal the last bits of innocence. In those moments, clarity is a fleeting visitor, the truth slipping away like water through my fingers. I can't comprehend, let alone explain, the full horror of my torment to anyone. From deep within, a force rises, a distant mocking laughter echoing in my mind. The swamp dries up in an instant, silencing the chorus of sinister voices. Faces that once seemed so real fade into nothingness, their existence erased. But in that silence, I too am erased. The world shrinks until only a single crimson leaf remains, brittle and dry, clinging to the last vestiges of life. A solitary traveler appears on the horizon, trudging through the barren desert, crossing the parched land where life once thrived. This place, this red desolation, is both my prison and my refuge. Each step feels heavier, the weight of existential dread pressing down on me. The sky, a vast expanse of relentless gray, mirrors the emptiness I feel inside. The wind carries the faint scent of decay, a reminder of the fleeting nature of all things. In this void, where hope is just a distant memory, I ponder the futility of existence. The struggle for meaning in a world without purpose is a fight on the edge of sanity. The dry swamp stands as a testament to the eternal cycle of life and death, mocking our quest for significance. As the traveler draws near, I see in their eyes a reflection of my own despair. We are kindred spirits, lost souls wandering through this wasteland of broken dreams. In our silent communion, we acknowledge the absurdity of our journey. There is no destination, no salvation. Each step, a plunge into the land of our own making, daring us to confront the savage beauty of our own insignificance.